You've seen their highs. You have seen their lows. Now see them for who they are as the front row seat brings you up close and personal with star athletes. On today's episode, Lo Kian Yu made headlines in January after defeating five-time badminton world champion Lin Dan. The 22-year-old has leaped up the rankings and has set his sights on even more glory in 2020. Yes, we're super excited to have Singapore badminton superstar Lo Kian Yu on the front row seat for this episode. And You've had quite a year, uh, 125 was your world ranking at yeah, the beginning of the start. year. And now it fluctuates 28 to 32, I think you're at 31 right now, but mm -hmm. how did this run come about? What changed for you in 2019? <coughs> what changed? Um, I think before this, I was in NS, and then before NS I was still like studying, half studying, half playing badminton. But now, this year I'm more of playing full time, so I think that's the biggest change where I can focus on training and competition more compared to before. What was the reaction like from your family and friends? Because I think uh, people who may not know, you've just taken time off school to concentrate fully on badminton. Now that you've had this great run this year, have they changed their tune? Um, when it first started, when I told my parents that I was going to uh, quit school and focus on badminton, like to go in NS first and then focus on badminton after, my parents was quite shocked because the reason why they sent me to Singapore was to actually study and play. But in the end, I actually stopped, stopped schooling. So, uh, but I told them, I convinced them that it's a road that I should focus on and like give my best. Because if I were to study and play at the same time, it's hard to focus on both. So yeah, I told them and then at first they were quite like reluctant about it, but they gradually supported me. Will you go back to school at some point? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Next time. But now concentrate <laughs> on your badminton first, Yeah, right? now badminton first. And you've been travelling all over the world, uh, trying to achieve your goals and your dreams as a badminton player. Uh, what do you enjoy about travelling for competitions? I think... Uh, I think to travel to different countries is everyone's dream. But um, for me, it's not really just going to the country and like to enjoy whatever is there. For me, firstly, when I go for competition, I enjoy going there to play with different players. Yeah, because it's different from the it's different sparring from Singapore. Mm. So I get to play with different players, and also I get to watch them play live compared to watching in the TV. And then other than that, some places, <coughs> then I get to see the different cultures, like weather. Okay. Those, yeah. Do you like the cold weather, like in yeah, terms of cold weather? Oh, you like cold weather. So, yeah. what has been the best city you, <coughs> you've been to in terms of enjoying the weather and maybe enjoying the sights and also perhaps the competition as well? I think I went to Denmark for leagues last year. Was that was quite good, but it was a bit too cold. But Australia, this year I went to New Zealand or Australia. It was like nice, chilly weather. Okay. Yeah, I needed to wrap myself up quite a lot, but I still enjoy it. Nothing, nothing like the weather that you would get in Singapore where you're always hot and you need to be in shorts and, and t-shirts, I guess. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> with, with so much going on as well, what's a normal day like for you? When, when you have trainings, for example, and then uh, when you're doing uh, competition? Mm, usually, we have training in the morning and also in the afternoon. Okay. Then at night, I will go back home and like, sometimes I just get dinner and then like, do takeaways go back home so that I can save time okay. because I bring, I take away, I take away the food, I go back and then I do the, cause I need to wash clothes. Okay. Yeah, so I will wash clothes first, then wash clothes need to wait for around about one hour. So while I, after I wash clothes, then I can eat. Then when I'm eating, then I still got a bit of time, I can keep the wash clothes from previous night. You have a, like a list for everything <laughs> that you do every day. Kind of. Uh. Um, do you do takeaways or do you do like a uh, grab delivery or what do you oh, do? No. Usually I do takeaways. Okay. Yeah. But if I'm very, very tired and all, then I just order grab. <laughs> but usually I don't because it's quite pricey compared to doing takeaways. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, they, yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, just looking through your Instagram and you're very social media savvy and you have 
plenty of endorsements. Go to look and use uh, Instagram and you <laughs> see like endorsements galore. But what is like perhaps one product that you wish would come and endorse you, but mm. they haven't yet? That's a lot. That's, That's a, a lot. lot. That's a lot of things I don't have. <laughs> Maybe just like grab food, delivery, this kind. Yeah. <laughs> Even bubble and tea, perhaps. Um, bubble tea. Later, my nutritionist not happy, <laughs> so cannot. Must healthier. Do you, to, do you have to stick to uh, a strict diet? Not really strict diet, but if I can control, then I try to control. But personally, for me, I don't really eat much like oily stuff, and I do eat sweet stuff, but oily stuff I don't really have it much. So, yeah. So I control if I can. Yeah, but for endorsement, there's a lot like phones. <laughs> this kind of this kind of thing, those daily necessity. Yeah. Phone, earpiece, speakers. Okay, people are listening, back. so they might they might, they <laughs> might come in come on board. Yeah. Um, look, you you are having a, a great year. Um, obviously, we have to talk about the Sea Games that's coming up, uh, very very shortly for you. And unfortunately for you, you've not had gold yet in all your yeah. tries in the Sea Games. Do you think that with the year you've had, this could be the year? I mean, I'm definitely aiming for gold. But it won't be easy because there's like the powerhouses from Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, even Vietnam, or so yeah, there are, there's like top 30s in the world a lot. So it won't be easy like winning the goal. But my goal is definitely getting the goal. All right. Yeah. Well, we wish you all the best in the Philippines. So that's the end of segment one. But segment two. From me asking the questions, some familiar faces, some teammates will be asking you the questions in a segment called Team Talk. Welcome back to the front row seat. I have, of course, Singapore badminton, badminton star Lo Kian Yu with me. And um, we are in a segment called Team Talk. So just now I was asking you the questions, but now people who know you really, really well, we've asked them to ask you questions that they've <coughs> always wanted to ask, but perhaps never got the chance until right now. So <laughs> let's have a look at the first question. Hey, you, my question for you. Why you always bully me? <laughs> Again, a very strong intro there. Are you a bully during training? No, <laughs> I'm teaching them the right stuff. Okay. I'm teaching them how to take care of their belongings, wanting them to improve and do their best. Oh, so you play pranks on no, your teammates? No, no, it's telling them what to do or that. Okay. Not really instructing, uh, but because they, some of them like, um, they like, for example, they drink the water or that, they never throw away the bottle. So okay. I will tell the close ones more often. So like, hey, you all go and help throw the bottles away. Then he'll like, then they'll think that I'm bullying them. So it's misunderstanding. <laughs> but seriously, do you have, do you have like a leadership role <clears throat> with your, your teammates or how is it like the camaraderie with everyone? Mm, I'll try to help them as much as I can. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not always right. So sometimes when I tell them, or maybe if I neck, I neck them every day, yeah, they won't feel comfortable. So, so. Yeah, that's why they say I'm bullying them. Okay, <laughs> that cleared that up. Yeah. So let's go to the second question. My first question to you is, why you always like to hug me before you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> that's a very weird one. I think uh, I'll just leave that to you. Cause, <laughs> Cause okay, <laughs> cause I grew up with four bro uh, three brothers. So like um, in Penang, we when I was young, we always like four of us will be in the same room. So we always like. Is mattress, 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 mattress. So we are always sleeping side by side. So um, before waking up and before sleep, usually we will like just hug, hug to sleep or something. Or sometimes just bolster. Okay. Or sometimes body warm is warmer, you know. Yeah. Okay. So I hug like that. Oh, spooning is a thing, isn't it? Um, <laughs> next question. <laughs> My second question to you is, why you always just use your calf to run? Why you just use your calf to run? So you have a very weird running technique, is it? Mm, kind of. Okay. Yeah, because if I run normally, okay, this for them is weird, but for me, that's the fast way to run. Okay. Because when I was young, I run normally, I can't reach the timing. So I needed to improvise myself. 
So I needed to use my calf to run more. So what what does that mean running with your calf? That means you're tiptoeing most yeah. of the time. That's your your. It's like running. when it's like you know sprints, they tiptoe and yeah. like yeah those kinds. So I'm running, kind of running like that. So even long distance, you run that way. If yeah, if I want to be faster. <laughs> so how have much have you improved? If you were to run normally and uh -huh. with your calf, how much would you improve? Like a two point four kilometer run. Wow. I have never really tried it before. Okay. Yeah, but I think the difference will be quite significant. You're just faster <laughs> yeah, running fast. with your calves. Yeah. Okay. The stride and explosiveness is much more. I like the questions on this episode. <laughs> All right. I think we have one more. Hey, can you? My question for you is: If there's one dish that you can eat for the rest of your life, what will it be? Ooh. Mm. So this to one. put it into context, every day, breakfast lunch and dinner you had to have one dish every day for the rest of your life i mean bound to be jelak lah at some point you know but mm -hmm. wow that's a very tough question eh? i love a lot of food eh? so you only can choose one for the rest of your life if you had to oh my god hash brown hash browns <laughs> For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, if it's dish, uh, if it's if it's not dish, then rice. Yeah, every meal got rice. I'm okay with it. So like a nasi lemak or like a chicken rice, like what would be that dish? Actually, the easy way to cheat is just say nasi padang, right? So you just have like whatever also have, right? Uh, every day you can just have a different <laughs> different type of of toppings. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but nasi lemak. Yeah, nasi lemak. Nasi lemak, but must be tasty, lah. Uh. If not later. Not tasty, it's so very hard to What's eat. What's the best nasi lemak you've had? What's the best nasi lemak? One that my mother bought for me when I was Aww, young. This is a safe, safe answer, answer, isn't it? No, no, but it's true. I love it. Yeah, she knows it too. Okay. <laughs> uh, so some interesting questions on uh, Team Talk. And now we ask them to ask you the questions, but they also have uh, some nice words of encouragement and of wisdom for really? you as well. I think so. Let's have a look. I think so. <laughs> All the best for games in City Games. Can you thank you for always teaching me to become a better player on and off the court? Okay, hello, can you? It has been an honor to coach you. Hope you can do well in SEA Games. Loads of encouragement from uh, people who are very close to you. Very touched. touched. Very touched. All right, I think we'll be touched in a different way in our next segment, the games segment, which is called Are You Chicken? This is my most favorite segment of the front row seat. It is the games segment. And uh, today's game segment is called Are You Chicken? Thank you. All right, aim of the game is there are five questions. Each question um, is going to be in terms of difficulty level and in terms of spiciness from these chicken wings by Wingstop. Wingstop. I've mentioned you, now it's time to <laughs> give a little love back. Alright, so first question, uh, and first two questions is the buffalo wings. Okay, so this is like level two kind of spiciness. Okay. Alright, then the third question would be kicap manis. It's like level three spiciness. Mango habanero, level four. And this is... The bomb. Oh. I'm, I'm scared. That <laughs> All right. So there'll be five questions. Each question um, is going to be a number, a numerical value. So whoever is closest wins. Whoever loses, bon appetit. All right. Understand? Yep. Let's All right. Do Let's do this. Question number one. In what year did Sang Nila Utama discover Singapore? This is what happens when you give the production team full license to come up with questions. Um, 18... 1895. 1919. 1919? <laughs> okay, I have no idea I don't know. for this one. Okay, what's the answer? 
12 shiny nine. Okay, so I'm closest. <laughs> Very far away, but still the closest. So um, I think there's a fork. There's a Important. This should be okay. Yeah. It's very, very mild. Be careful, okay. it's hot. Oh, I'm just take a bit. Yeah. It's, mm, it's, it's hot. Good. Yeah, it smells good. Maybe I should like warm up. So every question if I lose. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Do you like spicy food? Mm, okay, but... Mm. Tastes good. Tastes good. No kick, no nothing? Can you eat the whole thing? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright. All right, so you just move that down, no problem, right? Okay. Let's go for question number two. Which year was the first national stadium built? First. The first national stadium. Ooh. After, was it after independence? After 1965? I saw it before, I forget. You saw it built before? No, no, it's on top of the sports hub. Oh, so this should the be some advantage track. for you, right? Because you're... No, but I can't remember. I focus on my training, oh, okay. so... Oh, yeah, very important. Um, 1975. I would say 1973. Final answer? Final answer. Okay. Something like that. <laughs> what? 1973? <laughs> yeah. Do you get answers from them? I remember. Well, you I remember. focus on training, you right? I need some training. distraction. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you said this is no problem, right? So yeah. it's nice. Yeah. Right? It's nice. Um, Easy peasy. Yeah. No kick. Okay. Hmm. That's the main one. <coughs> I'm saving up my myself for that one. <laughs> okay. One all. Let's go see the next one. What is Singapore's total land area? Total land area. Hundred square kilometers. Is that right? I don't even know. It's gonna be that's just a wild guess. So I think tactically you should either do more or less than me. So now I'm trying to get into your head. Maybe it's the second guess. <coughs> okay, I'm saying hundred square kilometers. So is that right? Hundred thirty. Hundred thirty? It's a guess or you know? No. Is guess. there something at Sports Hub that you saw? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, 100 <laughs> for me, 130 for you. Whoa! 721.5 kilometers, uh, square kilometers. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I guess that's me now. Okay, next time I'll answer first, to be fair, okay? <laughs> so this is uh, ketchup, ketchup money. Ketchup money. Have you tried before? No. Wing stop, you never tried? I wanted to try, but I didn't move, so. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Is it good? Spicy? I'll level up. Yes, I'll try it later. Hmm. I'm hungry as well. Okay, help. That's nice. Not two more. Okay, so it's two one. You're leading. Okay. Two more. <laughs> wow. How many gold medals? Singapore won in the SEA Games in total? Throughout total. Uh, um, 200. Wait, mm. how many SEA Games already? 29. Oh, cannot be, uh, cannot be 200. Mm. 1,000 gold medals. If I say lesser, then later people think I don't look Singapore no up. Then now I stress. I think this should be actually at the sports hub, they should put this down. How many gold medals? Maybe I do focus on my training. <laughs> How many SEA Games have there been all together? Coming up is the 30th or 30th? 30th. So would you say on average per SEA Games, how many gold medals for Singapore win? 
Wah, oh, ini math lagi. Hmm. So 30, you win 20 gold medals, perhaps? 600. Nah, gue berapa thousand lah. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. So I say one thousand, you say seven fifty. Uh. Okay. Final answer. No. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. No difference. What? I'm still higher than you. Unless it's closer, man. Okay. Maybe. Eh? Okay. Nah, more fair, more fair. Okay, okay. more fair. Half, half. All right. <laughs> Oh, you closer. I got him closer. Oh, well done, yes. Singapore. Well done. Mango habanero. <laughs> I'm leaving the last one for you. That's why I eat this one. It's too kind. See, you just jump from like like level one to like level four. Mm. Can you feel it? A little bit. A little bit. Just, just, uh, Steamy, 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 steamy. Steamy. Okay. okay, last question. question. Worth 10 billion points. Loser has to eat okay, two bites. All right, now we're just okay. having one bite. Two bites instead of just the one bite. All right, winner takes all. Final question. Okay, a bit spicy. How many Malayans are there in Singapore? Wait, now or? Now or all the time? Now, I guess. Right now. How many Malayans are there in Singapore? It's either two or yeah. three. You yeah, want which one? Yeah, see the paper stone, we see who answers first. No, which, which number you want? I'll get two. I think it's two. Sentosa one, right? And then at Fullerton. And then does there another one? Maybe one. Maybe it's one. I think you should go with one. Yeah. You you sound like you want to eat it. <laughs> so what was your? Okay, I'll get one. You want because one? The Sentosa they just they, they take down. Take down. Yeah. Confirm or not? Not sure. That's 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 why just one say, and I two. I mean, just say one. I always. Okay. If you one. Want. Then you get one. Two. I'll take two. Okay. Sure. Okay. Final one. How many points did I say? Ten billion Ten points. Ten billion okay. points. <laughs> ah. Seven. What? Oh. Wait, we're on a seven. Yeah. Who, who gave the who gave the the question? Charu, I think you gave the question. What were the what are the seven? Sentosa. Malayan Park. Ah, that's Malayan Park. Such thing existed. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Ah, really? Oh, that was a very good question. Actually, it just stumped me and can you like we were thinking it's like <laughs> one or two, <laughs> one or two, but there's seven. Um, oh, that's shocking. Shocking. Um, okay. Well, what are you waiting for? There's three pieces. Do you want? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> just take two bites and okay. just uh, let me know. It is whole piece. I think for those at home. Let us know where the seven Malayans are in Singapore if you know. I only thought there were two. This is like a slow burner. You won't feel it straight away. Like maybe after the show as you're walking out, then you'll be like, oh wow. We're starting already. Starting already. <laughs> Can feel here getting hotter. Alright. Mm, it tastes good. It really tastes really good. Mm, it's nice. Fantastic. Look, thank you so much for being game enough to, to do this uh, chicken wing challenge uh, with me. But before we go, uh, we would like to ask every guest uh, that comes on the show, what would be your words of advice uh, to any athlete who aspires to take on badminton as a career? I tell them to <coughs> keep going and continue to dream and work for it. Don't really, make, don't really think of it as a dream because nothing is impossible. Well, sacrifices are important. Uh, as well as uh, you being on the show and having some spicy chicken. I think we'll, we'll leave it here so you can get some milk. I think it's better than, than no, the it's water. It's actually easy, nah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Front row seat, and we'll see you for thank the you. next episode.